Hello everyone. In this video, we have this interesting problem. We have a to the second power minus b to the second power is equal to 25. Then we also have a times b to be 30 and we have to find the value of a plus b. But before we begin, if you are new here, please consider subscribing and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. Considering the left hand side of this equation, you can see this is difference of two squares. So we can write it as a plus b times a minus b and this is equal to 25. Now let's go ahead and then raise each side of this equation to the second power. We can write the left hand side as a plus b all squared times a minus b all squared and this is equal to 25 squared is 625. Now expanding this whole thing, we have a squared plus b squared plus 2ab times, now let's expand this whole thing, we have a squared plus b squared minus 2ab and this is equal to 625. Now let's pay attention to this whole thing, we can write this as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Then from here we can also write this one as a squared plus b squared minus 2ab and this is equal to 625. We have a squared plus b squared here, we have the exact same thing here. We have 2ab, 2ab, and if you look at the operational sign, we have plus here, then minus here. So it means that this whole thing is difference of two squares, so we can write it as a squared plus b squared all squared minus 2ab all squared, and this is equal to 6 to 5. Now let's make this whole thing the subject. We have a squared plus b squared all squared is equal to 6 to 5 plus 2ab all squared. From the problem, we know ab to be 30. So in place of ab, we can put 30. So this equation becomes a squared plus b squared all squared is equal to 6 to 5 plus 2 into 30 all squared. Now let's simplify the right hand side. We have 6 to 5 plus 2 times 30 is 60. 60 squared is 3600. If we sum them, we have 5, 2, 2, 4. Then the left hand side, we have a squared plus b squared all squared. Let's take square root on the both side of the equation. Don't forget we have plus or minus here so that this squared will cancel this. Now we have a squared plus b squared is equal to plus or minus. Square root of 4 to 2 5 is 65. So we have 65 here. Now remember if we have a plus b all squared if we expand this, we have a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Now we know the value of a squared plus b squared, which is plus or minus 65. So in place of this whole term, I'm going to put this. So we have a plus b squared is equal to plus or minus 65 plus 2 times 30. So let's go ahead and simplify this. We have plus or minus 65 plus 60. Then the left hand side we have a plus b all squared. Now let's go ahead and then deal with the positive side first. So we have 65 plus 60 which is equal to 125. So we have a plus b all squared is equal to 125. 
We are looking for a plus b, so let's take square root on the both sides of the equation. We have plus or minus here. This square will cancel this square root. So we have a plus b is equal to plus or minus square root of 125 is the same as 25 times 5, which is the same as plus or minus square root of 25 times square root of 5. Now we know that square root of 25 is 5, then we have square root of 5 here. So it means that a plus b is equal to plus or minus 5 root 5. Then let's consider the negative side. We have a plus b all squared is equal to negative 65 plus 60. And this is equal to negative 5. Now we are looking for a plus b, so let's take square root on the both side of the equation. We have plus or minus here. This square will cancel the square root. We have a plus b is equal to plus or minus square root of 5 times square root of negative 1. And this is the imaginary part, right? So we have a plus b is equal to plus or minus root 5i. So it is either a plus b is equal to plus or minus root 5i or it is equal to plus or minus 5 root 5. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video.